Hi, it's Erica from the car getting ready to post our new YouTube video. So some great things on this video is coming for you to watch and learn and get excited about Chalk Couture. Today we are going to do a couple of the new flower towels. That's the latest hottest trend for kitchen decor. And so we're going to do two of those. And we are also going to work together on doing some cute little chickens on canvas. And I happen to paint them to look just like my two chickens. So hope you enjoy the video. Let's get ready to get started and happy crafting. Let's get ready to chalk. It's Erica here, and we are going to go over some great new designs with Chalk Couture. I know you're gonna enjoy the time that we spend together. I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you love the video and would like to learn more, feel free to make comments. Let me know what you like about it. Let me know what you wanna see more of, and feel free to share this with your friends as well. We love chalking here, and we're so glad that you have joined us today. So if you'd like to reach out to me, it is chalkcouture.com forward slash setting suns. You can also follow me on Facebook at setting suns crafting, and I would love to hear from you. So let's get ready to get started. All right, so many things are going to happen. You're going to see some things that you like, maybe even some things you've never seen before. So we're going to get started with our new chickens. And chickens make me think of spring. I have my own chickens, and so I just couldn't wait to get started on this one. So here are our sweet little chickens. And I'm actually going to design these to look just like my chickens. So that is one of the projects that we're going to work on today. And we are also going to be working on two flower towels, which are the latest rage. Everything that is happening in kitchen decor has a flower towel design in it. So we're gonna do bake it and they will come. And we're also going to do I love dishes and I love kisses. Most of all, I love help with the dishes. So what we're gonna start with is I have this backer board um, that has adhesive on it. It is a chalk couture board and it is great to use when you're working with fabrics and working with inks. What I love about this board is it allows the fabric that you're working with to stick in place. So it doesn't move around and it doesn't give you any issues when you are trying to uh, ink on your new design, which is exactly what we're gonna do on this flower towel today. So I'm just getting it set to where I want it. These are flower towels that I picked up at Walmart. There were eight of them, or I'm sorry, 10 of them for $8. So it was a really good buy. So this transfer says, I love hugs and I love kisses, but what I love most is help with the dishes. I mean, can I get an amen? <laughs> Who doesn't love a little help with the dishes? So now that I have this on place where I want it, the hardest part for me is always selecting the best color that I wanna use for my design. So I think I'm gonna start with Tide, which is a brand new ink color. And ink is different from chalk paste. If you've never used the ink before, it is a different consistency, not nearly as thick as it is with the paste. And it also can be used on fabric. And when heat set, it will allow, sorry, there was a bus driving by. When it is heat set, it will allow for you to wash it in the washing machine, dry it, no special anything is needed. The ink actually gets set into the fabric. And so you can use this on shirts, you can use it on aprons, you can use it on towels, you can use it on anything that you would want to design. So I'm using my Tide and I am moving that around with my multi-purpose tool. And at this point, I'm just using the wording with the Tide color. And then I'm gonna go back and do the outline of the dishes and the pots and the pans in a very pretty sparkly silver color. It's actually a shimmer silver color. So that part of it's gonna be really nice. So I love the multi-purpose tool because it allows me to get into smaller areas without using a lot of excess ink. So it's a lot less waste this way. So I'm just taking my time, spreading that where I want it to go, 
and making sure I have all the webbed areas covered. And when I feel like I have done that well enough, then I will clean off my tool and then I will come back in with my shimmering silver color. And that is what I'm going to use for the outline of the pots and the pans. So again, I'm gonna use the multi-purpose tool and that is going to allow me to give that nice outline of the pots and pans for this towel. So, a little bit about Chalk Couture. I've only been doing this since October and I'm totally just in love with this no stress craft. So, when you're dealing with paste, literally, if you make a mistake, you wash it off with water. Um, it is very versatile. There's not very many, um, not very many surfaces that you cannot apply it to. Now, pay ink is a more permanent and you can put it on mugs, anything that will go into the oven and that will heat set. And then you're able to wash that in the dishwasher. You're able to wash that anywhere you need to. So a lot of versatility here with Chalk Couture, whether you're dealing with inks or you're dealing with paste. Now for the reveal. Oh my goodness, isn't that just a darling towel? I love it. What do you guys think? So what I'm actually gonna do with this one because I want the pots and pans to stand out a little bit more is I will do the transfer again, but I am going to put black and then have it shadowed with the ink. So we can reuse this transfer and do that for you. So there she is. Now I wanna share with you a little bit about our chalk box kits. So these are kits that you can purchase. It has everything that you need in order to complete a full project. It's going to have your paste or your inks. It's also going to have your surfaces as well as your transfers. And for those of you that have been following my videos, you know these transfers can be used multiple times. So some really good gift ideas, some really good um, kits for you to learn. So if you'd like more information on that, just check out my site at chalkcouture.com forward slash setting suns. And then you'll go into the shop section and you'll look for chalk box kits. Now it's time for my chickens. So I'm actually gonna do this on a canvas. And on my canvases, I buy them when they're on clearance or on sale. And I use this product called Gesso. And I just paint that liberally all over the canvas and that keeps my chalk paste from bleeding. So I've already done that with this canvas that we're going to use today. I just wanted to let you know that extra step so that if you ever do try to paint on a canvas, you'll know what to expect if you have bleeding. So it's gesso and you can pick that up at any craft store or purchase it on Amazon. So I actually have two chickens that I love and take care of and, and watch every day and they are free range. They do go up in the coop on their own at night and I have one that is black and one that is brown. So I'm actually gonna paint these two chickens for us today to be a replica of my chickens. There is so much detail in this transfer. Whenever we take a look at it when we get done, you are gonna be just amazed at all the detail that is in here and how it's gonna see the feathers on the birds and it's just a beautiful piece when it gets finished. So all I'm doing is taking my black chalk paste and I wanted to go real simple with these chickens and so I am just making sure that I get all of the webbed area covered with the black paste. And then I go in with my multi-purpose tool and get those areas so that I don't um, have a bleed over from the black chicken to the brown chicken. And then I just go in and I fill in the brown on the brown chicken and we get all of that going together. So since I'm doing this on canvas, this is gonna be a nice piece that I can hang on the wall. When you do canvas, it's not like doing it on a cupboard or a wall or your microwave or a chalk surface or a mirror. I mean, the surfaces go on and on and on. When you do it on a canvas, you cannot wash it off with water like you could somewhere else, um, but it is a nice piece of decor that you can add to your home. And it's a nice way to show off your artwork. Um, and it's fairly inexpensive, especially when you buy packs of them on sale. 
at um, your craft stores, which is pretty exciting. So you guys ready for the reveal? I love the reveal, it's my favorite part. So let's see what we look like here. Now I did do the feet in an orange and then I added some green grass and I'll show you that here in a moment as well. Look at all that detail. I mean, aren't they just beautiful? They're beautiful chickens and I love them. And on the white canvas, I think it just looks really, really clean. It looks really nice and it will add a nice piece of decor to my kitchen, which is where my chickens happen to hang out. Not my real ones, just my decorated ones. So here's a look at what the feet look like, um, as well as the grass. I mean, it's just a, a really, really cute piece of decor. It's a great way to show off something that um, Chalk Couture does and how detailed all of their transfers are. So when I get done with my transfers, I wash them in water bath and then I place the backers back on them and then that is how I'm able to use them multiple times over and over and over again. So it is a very cost effective way to do a craft. It's a great way to give a nice gift. It's a personalized item that you can give and it really truly is a stress-free craft. So I'm gonna finish up with our last towel of the night, bake it and they will come. And we are going to do this on another tea towel. I've already got it put onto our adhesive backer board. And now I'm just laying the transfer down where I want it to go and then picking the colors. So I'm definitely gonna do some yellow with this one. Love yellow. It just makes me get happy for spring. So we're going to apply that yellow onto the transfer, which will then go onto the towel. Now don't forget we will heat set this to make it permanent when we're done. To heat set it, I'm gonna put it on uh, 350 degrees on my Easy Press with Cricut. If you don't have an Easy Press, you can just use an iron. Four minutes on the front, four minutes on the back, and that should be all you need to make that ink permanent. And then it's going to be washer safe and dryer safe, and you can use it over and over and over again. So we got our yellow cake going, and then I'm gonna come back with some of that Tide and use that for the lettering. So I did get a little bit on my towel. I'm just using a baby wipe to clean that off. Since it's not heat set, it's very easy to come out of the towel. So we definitely wanna make sure we keep our hands clean and our work areas clean as we're working with ink because it's not nearly as forgiving as it is when you are working with the chalk paste. Another thing about Chalk Couture, the reason that I joined was I basically just wanted to be a designer. I wanted to make pretty things, but I also wanted to save money. So if you're interested in becoming a designer, you can do that. It's $99 for the kit. You get almost $250 of stuff, and I mean stuff you can use, which is amazing. So you're gonna get several pastes, you're gonna get a surface, you're gonna get many transfers, Aha, bake it and they will come. So there is another nice towel that we have set and ready to go. And I'll show you the rest of it here in just a second. Um, but I just love these towels. They're not super expensive. They're just a nice way to add a little decoration to a room. Um, so there is it, the bake it and they will come. So if you decide that you wanna become a designer, like I said, it's $99 and you get almost $250 worth of stuff, which that's great, right? But the best part, the best part is you get all of your supplies, all of your surfaces, everything that you need to make some of these beautiful products at 40% off forever for as long as you're a designer and who doesn't love a good deal? So there's lots of different ways to experience Chalk Couture, whether you get the monthly subscription for $19.99, or if you do a chalk box kit and those range in different prices and you can just buy them whenever you want to do a project or you can become a designer for $99 and get 40% off of everything or you can just become a customer and shop for me and I'll be happy to get your product shipped out to you. Another great thing that we have is these mini kits. Um, I, you can also use them to make coffee mugs. I did this one with ink. Again, we'll heat set it in the uh, oven. So that's one project that you can do with this as well. But in the mini kit, you're gonna get a small transfer, two three, out, three gram pastes 
a mini spatula, and a little bag. So you get all that for $7. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know that in the comments below and I will get a PayPal invoice sent out to you. Thanks so much for joining. I am so happy you're here today. Feel free to like and share and we'll see you next time. Happy crafting!